Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Plan Happens. So, as you can see, today I'm not at home.、Um, I am at Vancouver International Airport right now, heading to International Aero Show.、Um, I am going to Palm Street, so、um, I will insert their logo over here and their information will be down below. But basically, they're an app. For plant community and plant buy and sell. Unfortunately, if you are in Canada, the functions, the marketplace functions are not available. But if you are in the US, I'm sure you will enjoy the app very much. So please check it out. Okay, so I had to stop because of the announcement. But we have to board very soon because we have to line up for a coffee for like 15 20 minutes. By the way, I'm here with Alice and she is filming back there. Um, yeah, so so far everything went smoothly, and hopefully, the entire time, the entire trip will be smooth sailing. As I mentioned before, Alice was invited to go, and I'm going as a plus one, and super excited to see lots and lots of、um, beautiful plants. And hopefully, I can bring back one or two plants. And I'm very excited to take you along with me, too. Okay, so let's go. What's this? Let's go. Let's go. Bye. Okay, so we just got to the hotel in Miami.、Um, the total flight was like a little over six hours, I think. The connection was a little bit scary because it was only like 39 minutes, but. We got to Miami ho Hotel safely, and I think we're gonna go have dinner after. Alice is behind the camera looking for、Hi. a place to <laughs> eat.、Um, it's like it's 6 p.m. here in Miami, so we're gonna try to get some food and maybe meet up with some friends, possibly. Yeah, there's yeah. something going on at Perfect Choice Nursery. Maybe we'll go to that. Yeah.、Um, Alice was told there's some after hour event at Perfect Choice Nursery,、yeah. you said? So we might stop there, and if we go there, maybe、we'll, we can look at some plants and maybe you guys can come along. Okay, Red now. Lobster. Red Lobster? <laughs>、uh, didn't they go bankrupt? Did they?、It's、maybe not all of them, I don't know. It's 900 meters away. <laughs> I've never been to Red Lobster. I've never been to one too,、It's、but、so、they、exotic. always say that the scones or something yeah, yeah, the are the best. But the biscuits are、yeah. not scones. Those are the best thing. Oh, my hair looks like. I don't know what's going on, but. Anyways, understandable after the fight.、Um, so, yeah,、uh, that's it for now for the updates. I think maybe Alice will film a little bit too. Okay, well, talk to you guys later. Bye. Okay, so. Oh, I don't have microphone plugged in, so this is gonna be noisy. Noisy. Very windy, too. Yeah. But we're walking to dinner. We decided to get some tacos since we are in Florida. Yeah. Yeah. And the photos looked really good, so hopefully we'll enjoy our first dinner because our lunch was sad. Horrible. Horrible. It was like a smoked turkey sandwich, but they like used this smoke. That made it taste so artificially、yeah. like、gasoline. Like chemically, right? Chemical smoke. Yeah. yeah, it's gross. And it was like soggy at the bottom, too. Yeah. So, but the photos look really good for this place, so I guess we'll take some photos and videos. And stuff. <laughs> okay.
Okay, so today is Saturday and uh, we are walking to the show now. Everybody filming. <laughs> and this is the venue. There's Alice. Good morning. Excited? It's like way too over. <laughs> Variegated banana. It is not ripe, but <laughs> not gonna be very it sweet. doesn't really come off. <laughs> We're gonna be here a while. Okay, how do I? Yeah. Oh no, brute force. Brute force? I'm, okay, I'm making a mess. I hope I don't like. It's fine. Oh, do you want? Do you want some? I will split it. <laughs> banana split. <laughs> Everybody's here at uh, Tropical Plant Expo. And, uh, look at what, what Alice got. What's that? Carla. Hi. 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 <laughs> I, am, I am so thankful for you. Thank you so, so much. Please. You've never been on my video, right? No, I don't think so. She, you usually walk at North Shore Tropicals yeah. and she's here with us. Have you been having fun? Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. A lot of fun. You want to show the plants you got? Of course. <laughs> she so, got the same plant. Same like plant, that. a little smaller. The baby cousin. Well, I guess not cousin. Sibling it would be. Yeah. The ruby. Is it zoicide? I don't know. Zoicide? Yeah. I, I, that word we don't know how to yeah. say. But yeah, it has like red pink to it. Yeah, it's like, I'm hoping it keeps that kind of red side of it of all the shows. And that really narrow, long guy. I mean, it doesn't really look like any of its parents, like the long guy. Yeah. So like, maybe. Why is it so long? I know. Where'd that come from? I wonder if it'll like brown it. Did he say which one's the seed parent? No, he didn't. Yeah. Maybe you can oh, ask him. Yeah, you have him on, yeah, right on Instagram. Yeah. He <laughs> yeah. follows me. Yeah. He follows you now. <laughs> I'm so jealous. I didn't get this one. A little baby anthurium uh, chrysalinum fairchild or fairchild chrysalinum. This one, there's like three left after I took this one. Like they just went so fast. And Alice and I ran, and then we were not in time. <laughs> well, hopefully I'll keep this one alive. Maybe I should give this one to you guys so you can like size it up, keep it safe. I don't, I don't know about that. I don't think I'm that good at sizing them. Oh well, probably better than me. But when they come to my house, it's a uh, live or die type thing. <laughs> well, get, I feel like Alice just give it a big pot. Yeah, give right? it a big yeah. pot. Yeah, maybe I'll go and grab one of those oh, like yeah, ten yeah. inch things. Cool. Oh, that's a cool one. I know. I'm so Look happy. Look how huge that is. So this is a Hoya Maxima. Looks very similar to an Imbricata. At first, when I first saw it, I was like, isn't that just an Imbricata? But I did a little bit more research just to make sure I wasn't buying a plant I already had. Um, and it's in like within the same family, they're definitely related, but um, the Maxima is different. There's a few other kind of Imbricata esque ones. There's, I think, like Hoya Pseudo Maxima, and I uh, can't remember. <laughs> this kind of. <laughs> yeah, the, the shingly. Yeah, the shingly lily pad. Hat. It has a little new oh, growth, so oh. hope it survives the flight mm -hmm. home. I got this from uh, yeah, Rory Antelock. This one is a Dorito Port cross with Bessier. I love Bessier and Bessier crosses, so I had to get this. It has like, uh, like close, close, closer sinus here, and then like slowly widens up like yeah. on each. 
stuff on the weed. Yeah, so this one's really wide, so I hope it keeps like keep keep the veins, keep the kind of shiny texture or color. And I also like the new leaf color. I just like a bit of bronzy. Yeah. And then I got a little thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's all the plants Anna got. So I don't know if maybe I'll show my plants when I'm back at the hotel room yeah. or something. I got one, three, three pants so far. That was my plan. Hope I stick to it. We have one more day. Yeah, one more day. Tomorrow I'll just leave my phone and wallet at home. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so this is Hoya, etc. And they're Canadian Hoya seller. I didn't expect them to be here, but they always have the best, prettiest Hoyas. I've known the owner, Corinne, for years. And this is the first time I actually meet her in person. This is the variega variegated classic petiolata. It's so pretty. I am kind of contemplating on this one. This is the, I can never say the name, but it's this one, the ganangading or something. That's, well, usually people will say ganangading. And this is really cute. This is a really cute one. I'm contemplating on this one. And they have the Madara, of course. Super cute. Oh, actually, it's not as bad as I thought. But this is uh, also another Madara. And take a look at this one. This is called Monstera Devil Monster. It's the most unique looking monster ever. I mean, I think it's like evil looking. So cool, but so expensive. Maybe one day. So we are at the dinner, and it's gonna be at uh, this country club. I'm here with Alice. And Sean from Only Pants or Botanist on Instagram. They're just filming over there. Very fancy. I don't think we are allowed to film inside for the dinner, and there'll be an auction later. And um, filming, I believe, is not allowed. So I'm just filming outside. Good morning, it's Sunday morning. What time is it? 6 30 ish? Uh, so, this is second morning here in Miami. Yesterday was a really busy day. We woke up early and went to the show at the opening. I mean, we went to eat breakfast, then went to the show at the opening time and spent the whole morning there. And it was, it was really amazing but also very overwhelming and exhausting at the same time because you you're like looking at i don't know thousands of plants all at once and then there's also meeting new people talking to a lot of new people trying to remember their name and faces so yeah by lunchtime we were very tired but we also had to go to the members dinner not that we had to go to but we wanted to go to, but also we were so tired. So I feel like when we got to the dinner, it was, I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say, but it was just a lot of mixed feeling at that point, I guess, but uh, it was still fun. We went to the dinner and there was a little bit of panel Q and A session. There was, how many panels like five people got to see a lot of people that I've only heard of on the internet so that was quite interesting also got to see like I, I we didn't meet meet Rory but we got to see that he exists which was kind of cool um, so we we got home um, 
what time? I got home probably like a little past ten, and I was too tired to film anything, so I just took shower and went to bed. So that's why this is the second morning instead of the first day's night. This morning we are going to Fairchild, and it's outdoor, and I heard that there's a lot of mosquitoes. So that's gonna be interesting. But I also heard there are a lot of beautiful plants, so looking forward to that. And I think that part will be second video, or at least second part of this video. Uh, and also, Alice will be doing live at the sh second day of the show, which is today, later in the morning. And I probably will be popping in, perhaps, will be, not sure. Oh. <laughs> Alice's makeup brush, <laughs> brush ex escaped her. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, I think for I think today will be a bit better at the show because we are kind of we now know what's going on there, what what's where sort of because the first day was I mean I, we don't know we didn't know what was going on but today I think it'll be a lot better and we'll perhaps have a little bit more time to look around and also I forgot to go and look at the award nominated plants yesterday and those plants are usually like really be big and beautiful so probably we'll try to get some footage of that and I guess that's, there's not much more to say gonna have some coffee and head out in about I don't know, 30 minutes or so, once we're ready. Okay, we're back at the show for the second day. We just went to, um, I suddenly forgot, yeah, Fairchild Botanical Garden and came here. Uh, there's still a lot of plants left here and I heard today I can haggle a little bit and I think there's a lot less people so I can talk and I think I will try to show you guys some of the award um, entries because those are really nice. Uh, I think the camera was too close to me but yeah so let's take a look around. So it's not just arrows, there are some cactus and succulents as well. There are really cute um, astrophytum, I really want them but uh, it's a bit difficult to bring succulents home or cactus home. Uh, if they inspect it, they might tell me to uh, discard it. So I don't think I'll be able to. But I really do want like these things. They're so cute. I wish I can bring them home because it's really hard to find this kind in Canada. Okay, I got my first plant today. So this is um. Ansurian Fairchild. I actually didn't know about this, but uh, apparently it was um, a plant that was mislabeled as crystallinum, but it obviously is not a crystallinum. I'll, I'll po probably insert the photo of this plant, uh, like a grown up plant of it, so you can take a look. And a lot of people got this because there was like a trace of it yesterday, and it got sold so fast, but they brought back some more today, so I was able to snag one. This is the red, red, sorry, not red moon, blood moon look at how dark that is and look at the venation. I wish I can afford this. <laughs> and he also has the blood moon red crystal. Blood moon red crystal. And he does have some midnight velvet, but I think that humidity dropped the, a number on it. But yeah, I'm obsessed with this one. This is so pretty. Hi. So this is Hi from um, Hoffmani. It is Hoffmani Hi uh, on Instagram. And uh, we are here at um, his booth. And he's going to show us some of his um, most prized sure. Anthuriums. So uh, the ultra famous Australian one is always it's of course the, the Blood Moon. Mm -hmm. So this is a juvenile uh, Blood Moon here. Um, back of the leaves. And uh, it's very dark and pillowy, 
Uh, when it's small, it might shoot out brown or long leaves, but when it gets big enough, mm -hmm. the leaves get to about like that size. Oh, like that about size. 50, 50, 60 centimeters. Oh, that's huge. Yeah. Um, so that's the blood moon from mm -hmm. Australia. Um, I also brought uh, midnight velvets. Unfortunately, the two that I have left aren't as good looking as the ones that I've sold already. Um, so it's uh, also an Australian hybrid of unknown origin. Mm -hmm. uh, no one knows what what was used to, to make it. Uh, yeah, okay. It's got really uh, muted veins, mm -hmm. dark foliage, um, and they're awesome to uh, use as uh, breeding stock. Yes, for sure. Yeah. Um, yeah. And uh, yeah, he has um, a lot of um, hybrid Some using the midnight hybrids. velvet. I yeah. got one, <laughs> like yeah. me. And well, there's a lot of. Um, yeah. I've got an Australian Rotolante here as well. It's mm -hmm. different to the US one. Oh. Very corrugated leaf. It gets mm -hmm. really, really big. Yeah. And, it's already um, quite big, but yes. a lot bigger, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, and he has a lot yeah. of uh, new hybrids here. Okay. Unfortunately, the Circus Peanut one it's is old, all gone, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, thank you. Hi. Thank you. Bye. So, this is the section that you can see all the award nominated plants. And they are all amazing specimens. For sure, thank you. Look at this. So this is Zara Michelle. Literally the biggest one I've ever seen. This is the Thai Anthurium Thai Ruby. And look at this. Huge! This is a uh, SKG marble, so this is a variegated anthurium. I've never actually owned any variegated anthurium except for the Vita. So these heart shaped leaves, the variegated one, uh, it's very rare to see. And this one actually has really nice variegation. I feel like a lot of anthurium variegations are kind of like sometimes sickly looking. And it's a color block here, luxuriant. Oh, this is a big blood moon. Look at this. I've never seen this in person. This is an Anthurium Red Thunder. This is amazing. And we have the FDG Crystallinum. And look at this leaf shape. Of course, the variegated Gloriosa. Oh, of course, we have the Boromark's Flame. I've never seen such big one. I have to agree, once it's mature, it is beautiful. Doesn't matter how common it, um, Monstera gets, I always just really love it. And these fenestrations, is so cute. I don't actually own one of this but maybe in the future the big ones are very beautiful. So looks like this was the first place this year and I think it's a new plant. I'm not actually sure if it's a hybrid or species. I have to look that up and uh, if I can find the information I'll put it down there. But this is called Philodendron Bell Isles. No, just Bell Isle. And it, I think it has a little bit of similar vibe, vibe to um, UPI, but it's a lot more rip, like roughly in the midrib, and it just ends with skinny leaf. It doesn't like flare out like a UPI. Hi, so I'm back at the hotel after the second day of the event, the expo, and feel like, I don't know, it almost feel like I had a longer day today, but maybe because it's been tiring day for the third day, like three days in concert, what am I saying, three days in a row, so maybe that's just the accumulation, but overall really fun meeting a lot of people really fun looking at all the different plants and before i head back to vancouver i thought i will show the plants that i got i bought at the event i have one two, i think i have 
six plants. To be honest, I feel like I didn't buy plants that I was kind of expecting to buy. Like, I think going in, I was expecting to come home with a color maybe, but in the end, I didn't buy any colors. I mean, I have one that's color hybrid, but and also like didn't end up buying the red vein dark phoenix but yeah so i'm gonna show them in the order i purchased them so the first one i got the, i got bought this on first day and this was from under story oasis and um from this is paul's plant yes yes, yes. yeah so it has the tag swamp tr swamp trash he ha I think he had this on all his plant tags and this is pub AF I don't know pub legend crossed with SP Napo question mark crossed with color PMG so this is the only one that is a color hybrid and it's I would consider this like a medium size seedling it's not the most it's not the smallest seedling but it's definitely not a like a small plant yet i feel like but yeah so this one i think has really interesting trait because um the new leaf is coming in here and i don't know if you can see but it has red vein and the petiole new petioles are red and the texture is almost leathery i I'm just interested in seeing how this is gonna grow up. I feel like maybe the texture would have came from the SP Napo, but I'm not even sure if it is SP Napo because the writing is a little hard to read. But I'm pretty sure this is what. I'm gonna try to find find it out and then I'll put it down here somehow, and. So this was the first one I purchased. Really nice dark leaves. And second plant I purchased is this. I hope you can really see. But this is um, uh, what is this called? This is. A the Persia num Numelari Numelari folia. What? Numelariae folia. Numelariae folia Naga is the full name and as usual I will put it down here. And I think going there I was actually expecting almost everything to be arrows, but there were quite a bit of other genus like there were a lot of orchids, there, there were like succulents, cactus, hoyas, and like Persia. And I have one at home that I bought with a friend, I wanna say a couple months ago, and I really didn't know if I can grow it or not, but it's, I can see that it's putting out new growth in my tent, so I'm a little bit more confident. And so far it seems like the substrate needs to stay like it, it doesn't it can't be wet all the time but there's there needs to be some moisture in the soil or substrate at all times and i've always liked this specific purpersia because it like looks like braids and when you look really close they're like small circles and almost like fish scale in a sense but it's not flat so it doesn't completely look like fish scale but the way it's like layered together maybe a little bit fish scale like and i just think they're really cute i don't know how i will grow this i see a lot of people grow this in upside down pot but in my experience those are so hard to keep like watering and keep the substrate wet because it just basically keeps dripping water from the hole that it's coming out of 
what I have for my other hoposia is it's this uh, glass um, vessel and it, I just plant it like this and then the plants are just pouring out of the vessel so I think I will do that with this too and if someone some of my friends are interested maybe I will split some of this because this is pretty good size and there's at least like one two three I don't know four or five stems at the base I think so yeah this is unexpected purchase from international I mean I guess it's international heroes society but the show is tropical plants show expo so I guess it's not completely wrong that this is there okay so the third plant I purchased was from Hofmanni High and I um, I would have you would have seen by now that I talked to him at the show and he I think he is based in Australia and Vietnam he grows a lot of uh, hybrids that's not available in North America so it was really cool to see the plants he brought and of course I really love the blood moon blood moon and the midnight velvet but those plants were out of my budget so I bought this one and this one is I don't have the tag here but I believe it's called Ruby Zoidite Oh, Zoe side, Zoe side. I will put it down here, and it's a midnight velvet cross with a no ID, like silver veiny anthurium. But this leaf is super dark. <laughs> oh that happens. Sorry, that's okay. Um, yeah. So these leaves are super dark. I feel like it's very like the color is kind of similar to midnight. Midnight Velvet, but in person, especially the new leaf, unfortunately this new leaf is curling up because, you know, in the hotel there's AC, it's really dry, but there's quite a bit of red color in the sinus and the petioles are red. I hope you can see, so I guess that's where the name, the ruby part of the name comes from. Even with the hardened leaf, I think you can see in the sinus there's a little bit of redness. But really excited about this one because the leaves are so dark. And both Midnight Velvet and Blood Moon are like really almost black leaves. So hopefully in the future they become a little bit more accessible for a uh, for I don't know, people on budget like me. But yeah, super pretty one. So I th think, no, there's one more. Actually, the last one was from, what's it called? Thai Exotic Greenery. Greenery. Yeah. Okay, so this one is from Thai Exotic Greenery. I was actually soaking it in water just now. We went there to look at the Red Vein Dark Phoenix. Um, we like by we I mean me and Alice went there to see if we want to purchase one. Cause I think it's been on our wish list for a long time, but we never splurged, and we wanted to see it in person. And they were very beautiful. For for me, like I really loved the look look of Dark Phoenix. So. Dark Phoenix plus Red Vein, like what's not to like. But at the same time, because Dark Phoenix has been always my favorite Anthurium, it's not different enough for me to spend. Like it was $400 basically for a medium sized, medium sized plant. Did I take photo of it? Of Red Vein? Of yeah. Vein. If I did, I will insert here. If I didn't, I will maybe um, insert a photo from Thai exotic greenery. But yeah, it, it's very beautiful. But it was not enough, like enough for me to decide to spend four hundred dollars, basically. And we always we also thought maybe we wait until today and see 
before closing if they're gonna mark it down or not. But when we when we decided not to purchase it, um, I instead purchased this hybrid, and it was tagged as Red Vein Dark Phoenix crossed with Dressler Dressler and it, this specific one had really cute red venation. I don't know if it will show up on camera, but I thought this one is kind of reminiscent of Red Vein Dark Phoenix. I mean, obviously it's one of the parent plants, so it will be, but this specific one was cuter than the other ones they had, so I decided to buy this one. It was 35 U USD, so I thought, I thought it was a no-brainer. And this one is a new leaf, so it's a little lighter, but the older leaves are very dark. So I'm excited about this one. Hopefully it acclimates fine because the newest leaf is very floppy, but the older leaves seems to be okay. So this was the last plant I bought on first day. Okay, so now on to second day, which is today. Um, so both of these two plants, I actually was aware from yesterday. So the first plant I have here is um, Anthurium Fairchild, or also FD, what is it, FDG? Mm -hmm. So it's... FDG Crystallinum. Sorry? FDG Crystallinum. Oh yeah, FDG Crystallinum. So this, they... Sorry. I'm getting ahead of myself. So in it from NSC had brought like several trays of this plant on the first day and it was gone right away and when me and Alice were made aware of them, they were gone. So we were sad that it was gone, but because it was gone so fast, Enid decided to bring a like, couple more trays for second day and luckily we were able to grab some. I mean one not some but um i will put the <laughs> the fair child photo here and what it is is basically it was mis id'd as crystallinum originally but obviously this is not like a regular crystallinum so maybe it's a mutation maybe it's some kind of hybrid maybe I don't know what it is, but it's very different. The venation is, um, how, I don't know how to explain, but just there's a lot of veins and then it's very silver and the shape obviously is very different as well. And the uh, most, most distinctively that sinus is non-existent. It's just flat at the top. So all these, are these seedlings? Yeah. Oh, okay, so these are the self seedlings, and we don't know if they're gonna look th look the same because even even if even though it's self, it's not gonna be identical to the pa the parent plant. The only way that it will be identical is if it's a propagation from a cutting. So I think everybody's buying it in the hopes that it will look like the parent plant, but at at the least, I think it's gonna have the nice. Venation. I don't know if it's gonna have those flat sinus. If it does, it'll be great. If it has those kind of uneven, freely um, leaf blades, it'll be nice too. But at I think it was $59. I think it's a steal, and hopefully, this will grow into something beautiful like the parent plant. And I saw some people were able to grab baby plants this size that's already having prominent venation and maybe like flat sinus but obviously people who got their first got first pick so i try my best to pick ones that i thought might have potential and the last plant i have here is um dog blocks um anthurium michelle So the first day I got there, the first store I went was the 
rare plant fairy. Is it rare mm-hmm. plant fairy? Yeah. Okay. I'm I'm just really bad with names. When I say a shop name, I always feel like I got it wrong and makes me nervous. But anyways, it was the first store like store you will see when you go in. So we went in and I looked at the uh, Michelle's and I was there with Anna and we both look at the pot and then I swear it said $395 and we were like that's pretty expensive I don't like even though they're very beautiful I don't think I can afford this so we left and I just thought it was almost 400 USD but today um Alice went there to take a look and she later told me it was 145 it ended up being 135. And I ended yeah. up paying 135. Yeah, but they said 145. 145. Yeah. So, like, the artist came and told me it's 145, but I was like, I thought it was 395. So I went back, and it seems like there are, like, select few that's more expensive, even even though they were smaller than this. But uh, there was a two, there were two trays that is, like, this size, and they were 145. But there were two or three that we picked out and thought was the best looking and I liked this one because the leaves are that really dark and the venations are like very prominent too but the other one had skinnier leaf and it was a little bit more red this one is maybe a little bit less red but the leaves are both very dark and this one was more like round the, the classic crystallinum look and also Alice pointed out that it has overlapping sinus so ultimately I went with this one and I'm really happy with this purchase because I I've always loved Michelle and I do have uh, I think I have two red crystallinums at home one I purchased as NSE red crystal cross with Tezula red crystal and then another one I purchased from um, Uhu Tropicals but they are both they're both not the really black um, red crystal so I always wanted one that's as black as the dark block one so I'm really happy that I purchased this for 135 so it said 145 but when I went to purchase it was 135 so I don't know how that works but I have nothing to complain it went cheaper so really happy with this one so this is my last plant I purchased I went in thinking maybe I'll buy three or four plants so I ended up with four but I think we all know you always end up buying more than you plan to so I'm okay with that and I can't wait for all of them to grow up and overall just really great experience at the at the expo and I'm uh, such a small <laughs> creator that not like I feel like I'm such a small creator compared to other people who are on this Palm Street, uh, Palm Street crew but even then there were like a few people came up and talked to me which was very surprising to me so I can only imagine how overwhelming it could be for Alice or like Sean. Sean seems to enjoy it a lot more than we do. I think he's just a lot more extrovert than we are but yeah it was very fun to meet all the other creators and I think it was very inspiring and this year I'm looking to post more so I think it was really nice to meet other creators and see what they're doing and overall just really grateful to be able to attend this expo otherwise you know if I was just doing it by myself I don't think I would have decided to come this year um, I don't know what else to say at this time um, even though it was really fun it was also exhausting the first day before coming the flight was really early so I didn't sleep and last night and the night before both nights I think we slept like four or five hours because we have to wake up early and 
Yeah, so looking forward to sleeping in tomorrow morning because there's no more event. And other than that, I think that's everything. And I hope you enjoyed coming along with me to the show. And my next video will most likely be my tour at Fairchild Botanical Garden. And I hope、um, you will enjoy that too. Okay, so if you liked this video, please hit the like button. It helps my channel a lot. And also, if you like to be notified when I post a new video, please hit the subscribe button. And、um, I hope, again, I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye now.